David Day, Vicksburg Daily News. This alligator's sitting ready to fight and launch. You can see he's not happy about this. They got him, uh, they're going to drag him over. You can hear the alligator hissing, flipping. They've done this many, many times. That's not good. Yeah, he's a solid eight foot, maybe ten foot. We're at Eagle Lake where this alligator was spotted early this morning by the homeowner. Um, called 911. The right thing to do. You should never try to relocate or do anything with the alligator yourself. You can hear it hissing, biting. It's not a happy alligator. And now they're going to drag it over to the vehicle, uh, wrap its legs and so forth, and transport it to a safe location. This is what they do. This is a big part of their job, wrestling these alligators. This isn't good. Alligator's doing everything he can do to escape and break free. Once they get that wrap around there a couple of times, that alligator won't be able to open his jaw. It's just uh, its strength is clamping down, not, not opening up. And uh, whew, scary moment there. Yeah, someone mentioned they're getting a workout. That's a fact. It's, uh, Strong animal, they're fast animals. And uh, be surprised how fast they are. You saw them uh, flipping and hissing. I'm just trying to get it on its feet. Catching his breath over there. That will wear you out. We're at Eagle Lake in 1600 block, 16,000 block. See, they uh, just got the alligator's mouth taped. Um, the wildlife officer was on the alligator, and the alligator flipped before he was able to get the tape. And it's scary; it could have, it could have been a very bad situation. You saw that live. We're going to catch the breath now before they catch. Woke up yet? Yeah. <laughs> And from here, I'll take the alligator, put him into the uh, back of the wildlife truck, and they'll move it to a safe location away from people um, where the alligator won't threaten anyone and no one will feel the need to cause harm to the alligator. Alligator rising up like they do before they like to take off on a trot, but they've got him blocked down. He's not going anywhere. He can still breathe, by the way, with that thing on. And around his neck uh, that's used to contain him, he can still... Uh, She'll get plenty of air. As you can see, he's quite able to fight.
And so now they're going to, they put their hands behind there. It just makes it easier to transport them. Um, they'll wrap their hands and of course they have uh, the tape and equipment specially made for that. We've seen this a couple of times now. They uh, wrap their hands behind them and then they will lift the alligator, put it in the back of the truck prior to relocating it. And they normally take it to a location they don't like to press there. They don't want people to know where they relocate them because people like to hunt alligators. And so uh, we'll keep that part of it uh, private. You won't share that. But as you can see, they've safely contained the alligator now. It looks like it's being taken into custody, but it's actually just uh, being made ready for a safe transport. You have to appreciate what these guys do. This is a big part of their job. As we look at this area right here where the alligator is sitting, you can see the ground where he tore it up trying to get away from the officers. Yard dog. Fish and Wildlife's Harvey, uh, Warren County Sheriff, Johnny Beecham. Done a great job keeping his alligator safe, keeping the residents safe. And uh, they, they got a workout, no doubt about that. I think we're going to take it from here. Thanks for coming along for the Vicksburg Daily News. David Day reporting.